Minnesota Twins. A welcome in to Mariners baseball here on the show. Matt Vaskersian here with you. I'm joined by Eric Karros and Steve Lyons as we delve into our pitching matchup here in the opener. Well, I think we're going to see a couple of pitchers here that have had similar struggles so far this season. Both of them under 500. Neither really having the season that they were expecting when they came out of spring training. So we'll see if they can turn things around here. All right, Steve, E.K. will join us in a moment, but before he does, let's have a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Seattle Mariners, as their starting nine tonight will look like this. Set to face these guys. There you see the numbers for the veteran right-hander, ex-Yankee Phil Hughes. Just a little warm-up game, guys. Just a little warm-up game. <laughs> Defensively, the Twins will align themselves like this. Reality TV, man. Y'all watching Hollywood live. Austin Jackson man, makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this evening. All right, let's do it. First of this four-game weekend set as the opening pitch is swung on and missed for the first strike. EK, our home nine as they start play here tonight. They'll look to make it three straight here as they come in on the heels of two straight wins. And things haven't gone all that smoothly for them here on this homestand. They've won just twice in five games. So they're going to be looking to get a little offense. Y'all can call this a blog, man. The pressure off of this pitch. You can call it a blog, man. Hollywood is chilling in this living room, man, playing some baseball. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Schaefer moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for route number one. Yeah, an easy fly ball there to start the ball game. One of the big keys for him in this one is going to be keeping that leadoff man off base. He's off to a good start here. Isn't technology something, man? Now y'all can watch Hollywood in his living room playing stand baseball. Stand in for the first time here. First offering on the way. And here is strike one call to the 37-year-old veteran up there. Nothing in one. This is a guy who generally stays around the strike zone. He's not going to walk a whole lot of guys, so you're going to get some pitches to hit. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. You know, I'm excited for MLB 16, man. I'm excited. Now the pitch. Got him. Oh. That was, that was Just two batters into this game. I think they can tell already that they're going to have their hands full all night tonight with this guy. This is another great pitch. A ball, lot man. of movement on it. And he's an out away from a spotless first inning. Robinson Cano will stand in here and match up with two guys who know man. each other pretty well. Time. Yeah, teammates for a long time. And I'd say that that maybe favors a hitter a little bit, but I guess it could work Charlie both ways. Field. Swing and a hard hit ball to oh, second. Man. Throw on to Maurer will be in time, and that retires the side. They go down one, two, three in the first for Phil Hughes. And now the Twins will go to work on offense. We've got no score. Starting lineup for the Twins looks like this. Jordan Schaefer will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Right fielder, Jordan Schaefer. All right, he wants to slide now. In there, and it's 0 1. EK, you take a look at our visitors as they enter play here this evening. They've run their win streak up to six in a row now, and they're really playing some inspired baseball. And as usual, it all starts with the pitching. I mean, don't get me wrong, the offense 
it's done its part too, but you don't it, run it, into it. a lot of six game win streaks where oh, you're just out scoring. Come on. They've gotten some real quality starts. Come on, Seager. Oh, nothing too out of the ordinary right there. He just doesn't look this one into his glove. And now all of a sudden, no they've got a man on here to on, begin yeah. this inning. Danny Santana will stand in, and you see what he's done over the past four games, as hot as they come. First pitch coming. And that's in there for strike one. This is where you need to make that error hurt. It's the first inning, you've got a guy on base, you can somehow get him around, that becomes demoralizing to a defense. He waits, now the pitch. Swinging a ground ball two, towards two, the two. middle two, to two. second for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. As a pitcher, that's how you pick your defense up behind you. They make an error leading off the inning, well, you give him another chance right away, and he gets his man right here to really, bounce into a tailor-made double play. So here's Joe Maurer. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. Ooh, yeah. Comes into this one at 271. Eight home runs and 29 driven in. Pitch on the way. Now a fastball off the plate away. A ball and a strike. Two out, nobody on. The 1-1. One, one. Swung on and taken oh, the opposite oh, oh. way out toward deep it, left it, center. It, it, it. Oh, and he misses oh, he it. it. Now Maurer's going to try to leg out you three. There. You got him. Oh, bad throw. Well, I'm not sure if this will wind up being a triple. It really should be a three base error. I mean, here it is. He was there in plenty of time. He just winds up with a handful of air. And they are going to hit him with an E. It's, it's barely well over his fingertip right there. You should have hit the cutoff, man. That was a long throw uh, to third base. That's why it was a bad throw. Here's Oswaldo Garcia. Yes, he'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball towards second. Just get the one. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. On to the second inning now from Minneapolis with no score. Minnesota has a beautiful ballpark. Nelson Cruz will get his first chance at it now. Didn't factor much into the win yesterday as he took an 0 for 4 in the ball game. Now the first pitch. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Now he's got a fast bet. He got a piece of that. Here's Hughes now on 0 and 1. Right over the top oh, with that curveball, and it's 0-2. Oh, just a little over anxious right there. I guess he figured he had a pretty good gauge on that fastball, and he hoped he'd see it again, but he got the curveball instead. The pitch. And this is swung oh, on and man. missed, though the ball did hit the ground, so he'll need to go to first. Throw on to first is in time to get him, so that'll go down as a strikeout and a 2-3 to three put out for route number one. He has a Boy, nice that drop ball pitch. is it just really fell off moving the now. He gets him to swing right over the top of it, and then you're going to see the nice work behind the plate to do a little cleanup back there and then get the put out down at first. Kyle Seeger will dig in now. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. He's only hitting 247 on the road, but he does have eight home runs and 29 RBIs. He's hitting 266 at home. Not bad, not first bad. First pitch coming now from Hughes. And this one's down off the shoe tops, 1-0. and oh. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Now Hughes readies the 1-0. -oh. Late swing and a ball line fouled into the seats past the third base dugout. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. Here comes the one-two. And Ooh, two close. and two.
Here now the 2-2. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at 3-2. and two. Yeah, after that last swing, I would have thought they would go right back in, but that's actually not a bad location because I doubt he was looking for something Seagull out there. On the base. Grounded. Oh, foul. why'd you swing at that one? That could have been a walk. No score here as we play inning number two. Come on, see Three and count, two, baby. here it out. is. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. That must have been a changeup because he was out. Yep, that was a circle change because he was out in front of that one. Payoff pitch one more time. And a swing Got and a bouncing middle. ball get back through. up the get middle. Right out, he's left, he's up with it. On the first, Got and him. a good stretch over there is oh, going to get him by a close. step for the second out. And it doesn't oh, look like the this. manager fully agrees with that out we're call challenge first. This. It appears he may opt to challenge it and have the play reviewed. Well, I think we're going to have to wait and see what the word from the dugout is. But here's one more look at it. Man, that's tough to tell if he was out for sure from that angle. And I can see why this was a really tough call on the umpire. So here's the signal from the bench, and they will indeed ask for the play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive answer on this play. The Mariners. All right, we'll take one last look at it here. Now, the question is, if there's enough video evidence to change the call to safe, and wow, from that look at it, I think he did beat the throw, and this might be a well-used challenge. The decision appears to have been made as the headset comes off. He's safe. And the runner is safe, so the call is overturned. The runner will stay at first base uh -huh. like and they maintain the right to challenge the further plays going forward. Has been overturned, and the batter Come on, Rudy. Is safe. Standing in now, Justin Ruggiano. This will chase one up around the letters here for strike one. The numbers coming in, 278 the average, nine homers, 53 RBIs. Come set, now the pitch. Might have thought about it here, but he lays off the breaking ball inside. It's even at one. That trying to go front door with that breaking ball started it a little too far inside, though. Ready now on one and one. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. The one two from Hughes. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Four pitches. <coughs> fast, slow, fast, slow. EK, you thinking fastball here? It seems to fit the pattern, but you better not get too predictable out there. Guys will catch on quick. Smack the opposite Beautiful way hit. now, and this should give Beautiful him at hit. least two bases. That's going to be a run. Around third and being waved on home. And a relay home. And the run will score as the Mariners get off to a 1-0 lead. Well, that's what he's that's done well all hit. season. That's swing the bat with runners in scoring position. Double, baby. Drives in another one here on the RBI Smith. double. Seth Smith will stride in now. Back in the lineup after being limited to pinch hit duties in yesterday's ball game. Here's the first offering. He'll start him with a breaking ball. Too low that time. It's ball one. Perugiano make it 21 doubles now on the year. 21st double. Here's a 1-0. Boom. And that one misses upstairs, 2-0. Oh. This high, is a baby. guy whose numbers are on the rise, and this is a big reason why. Two close pitches, two good takes, and now he's in a great hitter's count, 2-0. Oh. The 2-0. Oh. Now a ball hit hard, but foul as this one forces the third base coach to dance out of danger. Here comes the 2-1. And this one is over, and he works the count back to two and two. Two-two pitch on the way. Good wood on it there, but foul, so they'll do it again. Come on, Smith. 
Another try at 2-2. Here's a fastball that he shoots on into left center. And that'll fall oh, for a base hit. Oh, and this goes right past him. And on the error, a run is going to score. Oh, this one really hurts. You don't mind seeing this quite as much with the bases empty, but this one's going to cost them a run. Oh, right over a nice hop over his glove. Here's Brad Miller, the shortstop. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Boy, and after that good first inning, not the same here in the second. He's kind of looking a little shell-shocked out there. Like even he can't figure out what's going on. The 1-0 home. That oh, one's nice a pitch. called strike. Back even at one. One one on the way. And this is lifted in the air out to left. You don't tag up. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. In the dirt. And oh, he would have had quite him. dig it out. And he'll make it into score. It's a sack fly and an RBI. And it's now a three-nothing ball game. Number three. Well, it's gonna take a good Michael throw from left Zunino. field to get him, and they darn near got one. He was able to race home just ahead of this throw as he scores on the sacrifice he so hard, fly. He fell down. Look at that. He, he, was, he was worried about the tag. He needed to get the ball first. He was so focused on trying to get Here him at home, Zanino. he dropped the ball. As he swings and hits this one, fouled off to the right and out of play. <clears throat> Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Hit on the ground to short. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Looks like he almost pulled him off the bat. So three runs on three hits, one error in the inning, and no one left. On now to the bottom of the second. The Mariners lead it three to nothing. Brian Dozier will dig in for the first time here, looking to change his fortunes a bit as he's seen that average dip these last four or so games. First pitch to him. And he'll lay off a fastball here wow, in a good spot, close. but rule the ball 1 0. Well, you got to figure that this guy's going to come out here free and easy here in the second. He's got a three run cushion already. No reason not to come right after these guys. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. Yeah, he, he's looked at two close pitches. You get the feeling that this is the calm before the storm. I think he'll unload on this one if this thing is anywhere near the zone. Here comes the 2 0. Gets the call on the changeup there, 2 and 1. He may not throw a ton of changeups here tonight, but he's got a good one when he needs it. <laughs> I'm glad that it's easy, man. I'm glad that This is a good fastball hitting team. Most teams are, so the more you can keep these guys guessing off balance, the better. <laughs> Nip the corner, 2 and 2. Man, y'all watching Hollywood chilling in his living room, man. That's all. Here's the two and two home. Get him. And a bouncing ball foul. The two two. Bounce toward the hole and yeah. through into left field for a base hit. Batting sixth, third baseman, Trevor Plouffe. Trevor Plouffe will take his cuts now. Now the first pitch. And he tries to hold pitch. back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. He's ready. Now the pitch. 
And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Nobody out, runner on first. Has a look, now the pitch. Now a swing and a ball pulled down the line to third. But this will be a foul ball and it's still 0-2. The 0-2 once more. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Ready with another 0-2. Softly hit down to third, oh, likely no shot two? at two. And indeed, no look at second. He'll go straight to first and take really the shoe around. Yeah, and this just isn't hit hard enough to think yeah, about, too. Slow. So that's a wise idea just to make sure you get the first out of the inning over there at first base. He stumble right there, too. He would have got him at second. Eduardo Escobar will dig in here. And here's the first pitch. Fastball in there for a called strike. Tonight... Borderline calls, you got to be swinging. One out and a runner on second base. From the stretch. I just couldn't pull that one back in time. It's 0-2 now. Come set, now the pitch. Good offensive oh, field power that's here. Gone. Taken high wow. and deep to right. And off that the is off the wall in right field. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Strong throw in by <laughs> wow, Cruz, and that'll hold the runner at third. Kurt Suzuki will stand in now in a spot where just a well-placed single could make this a one-run ball game. First pitch coming. Uh, couldn't quite hold back that time as the changeup fooled him for strike one. There's not a whole lot of conviction in that swing. It was almost like an afterthought, like an emergency hat. From the belt, the pitch. Ground ball. Ground ball. And that's off his leg on the mound. <sighs> and they're on the board as this is now a 3-1 ball game. <laughs> well, you know all the infielders are taught to try and knock the ball down in that RBI situation. But here on the mound, I don't think he had any choice. This one comes back at him and gets him flush. By the time they all scramble around to find the ball, they have no chance of preventing that run from scoring. Aaron Hicks to get his first opportunity now. He's got to be feeling pretty good about things recently as you see his numbers over the course of the past 10 ball games. Runners leap from first and third. Here's the pitch. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Now at the plate, you're looking for something up in the zone. Try and keep it in the air. Make sure you don't hit into a double play. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. Nice comeback here to get it 0-2. And, and now you've got to put that early run behind you and make sure that this doesn't get any worse. He's ready now. The pitch. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. What a stop. Wow, a flip to second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. All right, Around guys, the this horn they go. Five to four to three to end three. the threat. Thursday night like baseball video, rolls on. Like we'll have more after this. MLB 16 is coming to the channel, so hit that subscribe button. And as always, Austin Jackson until next ready to time, go everybody. here as we begin the third. For the Mariners, center fielder, Austin Jackson. First pitch on the